at the bottom of antibodies. <laughs> <laughs> the two worst people to be talking about. The two about. <laughs> worst people. I feel like, yeah, Trump knows more than us. Um, oh, for sure, for sure. Adam, I miss you. You look very cute. Aww, your hair looks really dude. cute and Thank i can't you. help but notice as we're talking people are saying they like my short film uh, and i'm just trying to read the comments it's great i mean i th that's that's what i love so much about instagram live is like you can just get that positive feedback right away it's, it's like this it's just like a little hit it's a little jilt a little dopamine hit uh, a little bump uh no i i i think that that it's amazing i i'm so bummed that you didn't get to do south by because that's like Honestly, where these films get seen adam they put it on amazon prime and you're I killing mean, it, right? films are seen by like four people so. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden like everyone made a short that i know it's like the hottest yeah. form of entertainment but yeah, it should it's, be. it's the easiest it's, like, <laughs> it's so also i don't want i'd rather a short like dale and i were trying to decide what to watch yeah. last night and i was like she was like let's watch daddy-o and I was like, yeah, because we don't have to invest more than like 27 minutes. It's 17, not like 17 a minutes. full season. And you know, my friend Chelsea Devantes, Yasser's girlfriend, mm -hmm. who's a hilarious writer and actress, her short is two minutes. <laughs> I went to the premiere. It was the greatest night of my life. It's called Basic. It's also on Amazon Prime. It's amazing. And it's simply a two minute watch. And honestly, it had a beginning, a middle and an end. And I was fulfilled. It it's a good great. sketch. It's a good sketch. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I honestly like would kill to have a short anywhere. I feel like, had I known, I, I was thinking. Would today, you have given more to mine if you knew it was going to get out there? Yes, yes, yeah. of course. I was just going to say, had I known that yours was going to hit Amazon Prime on the direct when we all had quarantine issues, yeah. I think I would have been a little more present in those scenes. Yeah. However. I do think I steal the movie. You do. You, you do. <laughs> yeah. So your no. your not present is better than our present. And we've always done <laughs> no, that. No, no. I would say that just like my 60% is better than most actors 110. Wow. And I think mm -hmm. that's known universally. I think that's why I don't work that much. Because I feel like the only people that are behind us are Vulture. <laughs> Honestly, Vulture has saved my career like four times. Me no too. No one likes me. I was thinking about that. Because I was like, I have no like group of like you remember when those guys came up like I am. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about you like you know those, like guys. like those old vanity fair spreads with like seth rogan and paul rudd in like 1920s gear or whatever and it's like the new kings of comedy it's like yeah, everyone's but you like, and ben schwartz and the whole crew it's it it ain't pally and schwartz hitting those stages that's true i not that that's where i, I guess there be. wasn't room for three B, no, I mean, improv works better when it's two people. I think that's <laughs> proven. Uh, but I, I honestly, like, that's, that, that's not, I, I just, you know, I feel like I have survived like a cockroach of the last, like, 10 years well, of Hollywood. Well, since you and I have known each other, and I really want to go back to, and I know I always talk about this, but after the pilot of Happy Ending Shot, we went and sat at a diner on La Cienega. <laughs> at 7 in the morning. Was coming up. Right. And we were Norms. just like... God, enormous. what if this thing went? We were like fresh off the boat with our chapstick and like our tap shoes and like our big yeah, dreams. I, I remember eating French toast. Like I've been eating French toast since then. Yeah, look, you and I were obese. <laughs> we no were obese. I remember being so clueless about it. Being like, yeah, it's just like you do your thing. And I was like, like I'm fine. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm I hot. Could not, could not fathom what was to come. I much, had body uh, positivity before this was like a notion. Oh, for sure. I remember seeing you at a sketch topless 15 years ago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No problem there. No problem. <laughs> no People problem. are always like, I won't show my skin. I'm like, why? Who cares? Well, let's go back to the, speaking of skin. There's something. Can you believe that we did that bit at Variety like 10 years ago? Oh, my God. Do you what remember that bit? Was, of course what I remember it. What were we even it? thinking? What happened? What was I thinking? Your balls? I took my balls out at a cancer benefit. <laughs> And your wife was there. She was like, and I participated, and I'll never forget. Or did you pitch the bit? Who can say? I can't remember it, but I'll never forget the look on comedic legend Will Ferrell. Oh, we Will after off. was like. So, taken aback, but still friendly, always friendly. It's the nicest guy. I could say that the, the best, the, it's a Yiddish word, but I could say Will Ferrell looked famished when we got off stage and I looked him in the eyes. He was like, I couldn't. Make heads or tails of what Famished. just happened. I like that. Famished. It was like, 
and, and I think the worst part was like right before it was like, we are here for this fund because millions of women go through breast cancer every year. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Casey Wilson and Adam Pally. It was such a misstep. We didn't hit the right notes, you know? We didn't hit the right notes. <laughs> no, we were playing the wrong instrument. <laughs> <laughs> we should have been in the orchestra. Deep yeah. within the orchestra. Um, I like your, I like your, um, your like, insta-live little nook. Thank you. Uh, it's a good, you have one of the best setups I've seen. Well, I'm working with a diva light, but you know what? Oh, so am I. I got a fucking... Now, where are you? I'm in the basement. Are you in a bunker? Yeah. I'm in a basement. The only place that I, I can some find. Kimmy Schmidt stuff here. <laughs> I do. I've been kept here. Uh, I'm in a basement. The only place I can get like two seconds. Yeah. Is in, yeah. Is in a is in a basement. And we're I using can't the whole buffalo here at this house. It's like yeah, like I can't a figure crevice. out how to... Someone's like turned it into an office. <laughs> yeah, I can't figure out how to put my tripod anywhere or anything. Like I, <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. Gigi, do help me. Okay. Gigi she helped did. me by making all of these and putting them up. Beautiful. Across this guest bed, which is like the best I can. It's like. Adam looks like a hostage, someone said. <laughs> I do. I look like I... I've been taken hostage by 15 kids. You look like a very cute hostage. I, I feel like that's a role I'm. Actually, that could be my uncut. That gym. could. You know what you should have been in was that Ben Affleck hostage movie. That would have been nice. I would have crushed Argo. I was yeah. like built for Argo. I Once know. Again, once I, again, I, I don't roll with that crew. You need to be like some bumping Christmasina for these parts. Yeah, but Christmasina honestly can can play from seventy five to nineteen. That's true. And I can play thirty eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. Now, Adam, we've done a lot of things for Vulture where they have asked us to please follow by certain rules, and you've not done that every time. So again, I printed out the questions they'd asked us to possibly go through. Okay. And wait, someone's saying the story about Chris Messina and your manager. God, I can't even remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had a very brief dalliance, very brief. And my uh -huh. manager called and basically was like, like, Almost like the two, like he's too good for you. <laughs> like, right. Let's like leave Christmas scene alone. Basically, like let's let's move forward. Yeah. So, uh, and then I do what anyone would do, which is I left a DV a CD of Leonard Cohen songs under his windshield wiper. Leonard Cohen songs. Wasn't oh. good. <laughs> Wasn't good. Honestly, we I, I feel like we may we may not read social cues like. That is such a weird move, Leonard Cohen. That's like so sad. Yeah, it was really sad. I was like, I'm devastated. Like I thought this was my husband. At, like, like if someone did that, I would have called nine one one right away. I would have been like, she's gonna kill herself or something. Yeah, she needs help. And I honestly, then I this is even darker. I went home back to like I was sharing an apartment. They didn't want me there. I was like, oh. fourth roommate. I'm on the balcony smoking a cigarette, sitting on an exercise ball because that's the only like you know no. chair. And I'm like, fuck, my cell phone's going to be shut off. I got to call my mom. I, I have no money. I've just been broken up with. So I call her. And I'm like, mom, <laughs> I need my phone. I need some money for my phone. And I know it's so embarrassing. This is I so sad. I never do this again. <laughs> and she's like mid yelling at me. I'm like, I just, it's about to be turned. And then it was shut off by Verizon. Oh. Mid conversation. Man alive. Man alive. Here Man alive. It happens. It happens. And look at you now. Look at me you gotta, now. You got an Instagram live nook in the pandemic. In the pandy. Um, how are you doing, you and Daniela doing? Like, how are the relationships in. in the pandy? Pretty good. Pretty good. I feel like um, we, we the, the kids are such a, a handful, and they're at the absolute, like, worst age for the pandemic. Not that there's a good age for the I pandemic. I know, every parent I know is like, my kids are at the worst age for the pandemic. I just have three at three different ages. So it's like, I'm going to hit one of those. You know, like yeah. one of those ages is going to yeah. be the worst. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, it's just, you know, it's it's hard with the two year old, it's hard with an eight year old, it's hard with a six year old. It's like, it's, it's hard, hard with three kids and yeah. living with like 20 family members to boot. Yeah. And then we're taking we're taking care of a lot of people um, just because because the city, because honestly, New York was such a, a no. horrendous situation that we had no choice but to like 
kind of be like, okay, who from our family needs to get out of New York and has, doesn't have a place to, you know, ride? And who wants to queue down with us? Yeah, basically it was like, that's the situation. And, you know, like my sister-in-law was in mid construction of her house and we were like, yep, let's all kind and of- And your dad didn't make the- My dad did not make the cut openly, okay. no. Um, yeah, he's in Manhattan with the large rats. <laughs> um, oh my God. Uh, no, he has a, a beautiful apartment and it's so big, but he, he's going to come out. I think we're going to do like a, like a, he's yeah. going to come out and we're going to talk to each other for a little. Um, because he's missing, he's, he's like, the, the, the amount of emotional stress as well that's put on Zaniana, I think has bonded us because like, that's just, nice. Just other people calling and being like, I miss my grandkids. And you're like, click, I you don't have time for that. Click. You know, like, it's like, that's a whole other side of this. Yeah. So, um, my man is about to be on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> People are really sending us some things. It's okay. Take That's nice to hear. You guys are good. I mean, I... How are you guys? How are you and David? I'm good. I'd like to, like, reserve a spot in a treatment center for myself when yeah, I think it's over. Every, yeah, I think, like, I, I just don't know. I Even if... I don't know how anyone would come out of this and be like, I'm okay. <laughs> like... Yeah, like I'm good. Okay. I have someone in my life, a friend, who is taking like a different like tack about the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Like she's like, I don't know that everyone's upset about that. Right. Again. Yeah. I've heard it, that take. It, it, it's, I've heard that take a couple it's times. It's so shocking. It's like, well, first of all, have some goddamn respect yeah. for what's really going on and people working. But it's also just like so weird. You it's know. just such an odd way to go. It's like it's so easy to go the other way, which is like. Go with look. us. It's like, I have a black fucking heart. I'm an evil guy. Yeah. Like, I'm just like not a good dude and like yeah. whatever. I still was able to like parse it out and be like, let's do that, you know? Yeah. And not be yeah. like, oh, isn't this great? Nature's coming back. Like, <laughs> if I hear one more <laughs> motherfucker. Mother nature coming, is. One more motherfucker out. be like, it's so, the skies are so blue in New York City. I'm like, yeah, you're getting, you, are you seeing it from the ground after you're getting mugged in broad daylight? <laughs> oh my god oh my I, god I, I i feel like it's also age like i'm i feel like you and i are at this like point where maybe five years ago maybe we would have been breezier about it yeah i yeah. don't know but i feel like I'm you like... and i right away i feel like you and i talked about this right away we were like not either of us were breezy about it we were like no this is serious yeah this is serious i wrote letters to my kids being like i will be leaving you <laughs> my I kids do. put my picture on their iPad when I <laughs> my kids put the, my picture on their iPads like when our dog died. <laughs> now, They're are we allowed traumatized. to speak about the role that I play in your family? Yes, of course. Okay. I mean, I, I, heard, I, I, I was I, I was downstairs during this, but I heard that that you recently made contact. Yeah, she made contact <laughs> with me. So I have, you know, I've been given a lot of roles over the years. None of them great. And oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But <laughs> this role, roles. this is the role of a lifetime, which yeah, is, exactly. I was offered the role of the tooth fairy to Daniela and Adam's kids. They text me and, and I've spoken to your daughter and kind of assured her that I'm real. You've also spoken to her as both Casey and the tooth fairy, which is impressive. It's, that's some Mrs. Doubtfire shit. I know. I gave it a voice, but then, like, the voice was coming and going, like, all my characters' accents. <laughs> all your characters' accents. Yeah, I was like, hello, hey. It's kind of like a hippie, sexy, sexy. voice. Yeah, like Kim Cattrall, sexy. Um, <laughs> but I was like, I'm always watching over you, but then I was like, that's creepy, and I'm like, just it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I think she, yeah, I think she would have caught that, uh, too. Although she was excited. I mean, she was, she, she... She's so happy to have like approve her brother wrong with that. Yeah. And he, we yeah. haven't, he's still on the, he's young enough to be like, maybe I was wrong. And it is such a perfect dynamic for her that I, we just like let it ride out. Cause she'll be like, do you want to talk to the tooth fairy Cole? Cause I could get her on the phone. Yeah. She's and available. Like, no, I don't want, it's not her obviously right but he doesn't quite he's like, know her. he's like then he sees the text that i've been writing her like you're such a good little girl gg he's like god damn it like, damn it yanking his teeth out <laughs> <laughs> okay here's some questions adam and people can just, just simply ask us questions below as well but what is something we never agree on i don't agree with the light that's on me right now but 
Uh, yeah, no, I mean, my, first of all, it's so cold down in this basement. It is so, it is so cold. The thermostat is reading 48 degrees. And I hate that I'm in LA, you know. <sighs> I miss so California nice. so much. I know. Uh, anyway, what was the question? Um, what do you and I <laughs> not agree on? Um... I don't know. We I, that's part of a good thing. I think I feel like that's one of the strong parts of our relationship is that usually we call each other to agree on a point that no one else does. <laughs> you know, like, we yeah, like made, we'll take we, the celebrity that everyone's like eleven, and we're like, fuck her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you're you agree with this, right? It's like dot dot dot, and there's that like, oh god, did they do a movie together? And it's yeah. like, fuck them. You're like. Yeah. yeah, you're the person I, uh, I go to with like a collage I've made on Ambi and that's like the meanest thing. Like if you send it out there, my career would be canceled easily. Like I put a lot of trust oh. in you with what I send you. Oh, please. I mean, I, I, I take stances against people that are straight up altruistic. I know you do. I will like, I'll die on that hill. Why? Why like not? That. Why not? I don't like that. I don't and what I like do appreciate people. about you and me is like, we're not afraid to straight up say we're jealous of that person. That's oh. why we don't like them. Completely jealous. Completely. Jealous. I started this whole thing off uh, admit, saying, I don't work a lot and I am jealous of everybody that does. Yeah. I am like, anytime I see someone working, I'm like, holy shit, do people like them? Yeah. Because yeah. no one likes me. <laughs> uh, people do like you. Uh, I. That was the least convincing. It's okay. No, I was thinking, I was <laughs> thinking about that. if I should I tell this agree. other thing. Yeah. When I was in my period of thinking that I had Corona, we'll leave that out of this. But <laughs> I was can't edit feeling, anything out of this. <laughs> I know. No one's watching this. I was, you know, really not feeling well at all. And you were texting and seeing how I was doing. And then one day I just texted you and I'm like, I had just watched all of Shit's Creek. I'd never seen it. I literally watched all of it. And I was like, yeah. I really would have wished Happy Endings would have had its due on Netflix. And like, I feel like this could have happened, Happy Endings. And you were like, oh, I see that you're all better now. <laughs> you're like, I, I was worried about you, but I feel like now you're right back to normal. <laughs> there were two signs when I when I was like not worried about you. One was when you start instantly were like upset about something that you thought was due to us. I was like, she's back. And the second one is when I texted David and was like, can I send you liquor? Yeah. And he was like, I'm good. And that's when I was like, oh no, something's wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's yeah, wrong. it was like, we could, we're we not drinking here. We're yeah, and I was like, wrong. what? Yeah. Oh my Someone's God. Someone's saying Happy Endings needs to be in a streaming service. It is on Hulu. It's on Hulu, yeah. Um, I, I also feel like Happy Endings had, uh, not to be like, uh, this is so, <laughs> we're like talking about. It's only 380 but, of us here. Yeah. Go ahead. I, the thing that I wish we got a chance to do was what Shits Creek did, which is find the like, nice emotional ending yeah. to this like bonkers good joke filled show is like I feel like we have that obviously we have that and it's like I look at everybody's work and I'm like these are unbelievable actors you know like yeah. we and we didn't get a chance to like do that and I think it probably would have been pretty good you I know do. like totally and, and that's the bummer is like every even fucking like Arrested Development got their chance to like whatever it was they got their chance you know and like I feel like we just didn't get a chance to like do that and now it's like almost too late because we're we're i'm we're so old yeah it's too late it's although too late. <laughs> although during the pan speaking of too late during the pandemic we are gonna do a happy endings thing too late during the pandemic but no the pandemic all pan fraser did a read all bets are off <laughs> but we are the, doing it with someone wheeled material. kelsey grammar to an what? to a zoo someone wheeled kelsey grammar to a zoom meeting and was like hey we're reading like, like, put that down. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But we are going to do a, some new material on a Zoom uh, happy endings. That's coming up soon. Are we going to get eyes on that? Am I going to get eyes on that soon? Like, do I I've gotten eyes on something. Is it good? Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. It's really <laughs> funny. Um, let's get Casey on indebted. Was not asked. Okay. Oh, it wasn't? I told you. I, you know, we got plans. We got plans. Like every other show, we're like in this limbo with the pandemic where it's like, there might not be TV. Right. And it seems like my role is also in, in limbo. <laughs> uh, yes. Adam, what was our last fight about? Or when is the last time we got drunk or high together? You pick. 
Uh, well, the last time we got drunk or high together was the last time we saw each other. Uh, right? Oh, at the, or, at did the I see you? Did party? I see you with yeah, Daniela? Yeah, did I see you after that or before that when you came to our apartment? Yes, yes, yes. When I came to your apartment and yeah, uh, we, we had did get fun. drunk. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, what was the other question? What do we fight about? I don't. Yeah. Again, like. I don't know if we ever we we sometimes we will disagree on like a joke if we're working together. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, yeah. And, but I, again, like I never I never feel like unheard or anything. I, I, I hope you heard my feelings about your Birkenstocks over your socks. <laughs> I did. You know, I hope Yasser Lester is somewhere watching this. For some reason, that I hear that it's like one ear and out the other. Right. Um, right. I'm gonna. I will die on this Birkenstock hill. I was right. I am right. Ask Kanye okay. West. I was right. I am right. Okay. I'd love to see some comments about that. Because the Birkenstocks were, yours were lime green, right? Am I wrong? The ones I wore, yeah, when we went, when I did the show. But I also have white ones and black ones. And uh, I, I, they're awesome. I, you never wore them when you were in high school? When you like, Yeah, was, like, when huge... I was in high school. Yes, I did wear them. But I, I didn't don't, wear them. I don't stop. understand. I don't understand your tone. Okay. <laughs> Burke look is hard. Thank you. Someone else loves them. Okay. Right. Everybody loves Birkenstocks. It's the socks that were tough. Um, yo, that's look, the, someone that's, the, the, that's the thing. Socks and sandals is a thing now. And I am nothing if not a little late to a trend. Maybe you're early. I, I'm having trouble understanding your tone tonight. I don't know. I know. <laughs> okay, last thing. Um, what is the time the person made you laugh the hardest? These are hard. Oh, God, every time. Um, I, <laughs> I remember when you made me laugh really, really hard as like a, you, a dig to me on it, when we were working together and it made me laugh what? So hard airplane? that I couldn't compose myself. No, I just, um, by luck of the story, I, I was really sick one day uh, shooting Happy Yangs, like really, really sick. <laughs> but it was a real big production day and they were putting half of my body <laughs> in uh, drag makeup. Mm. And Kathleen, <laughs> our makeup artist, was literally in like what, what we're seeing, like PPE, like... Put I, like putting half of my body in in makeup, and I was like, "Please, I can't do it." I'm like dying. I had like a huge fever, and I was sweating. It was just like mm -hmm. awful, awful. And they were like, "We have to do it. We have to do it." So Mandana, man, it wasn't Mandana. No, it was another one. It was some other episode where okay, it's okay. literally like half my body is Lady Gaga, and the other half is like <laughs> a businessman or something. I don't remember baseball player I don't remember and I did this whole choreographed dance with um that great choreographer that we had yeah and like made it through and then I sit down and we start doing a scene and I like I'm do like starting to do the scene and uh Rob Cordry's on set that day and I get a couple laughs and Rob starts laughing at me and they go cut and you lean into me and you go Somewhere you found the energy for Cordry, huh? <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I remember laughing, like tears coming down my face with like yeah. mascara, and they're coming in and they're like blotting. You kind really of, you really pepped up. You pepped up for the guy. I was like, he's a hero of mine. Yeah, because I remember I was trying to talk to you, were like, not now. I was so, I was like, and the other side of it was like all day. I was like so sick. <laughs> sick. You still gave it to me. It was great. I loved it. And I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. I, I think I laughed the hardest when you were like, A, when you were heckling the, the journalist that was like <laughs> weird to us. And then also at my wedding when you emceed the rehearsal dinner. Uh, and yeah. you really savaged the crowd. And me, really. It was a roast. And you really made me laugh because there were a lot of actors in the audience, you know. Yeah, of, I think I was a, what I say is a who's who of, of the internet. That. A who's who of who's that. Or That's a, that should be, I'm sorry. That's like Jeff Ross shit. I would, yeah. it's pretty good. At a it's wedding, good. it's inappropriate. 
<laughs> it, felt, it felt hard because everyone was like, oh, like, I'm just trying to have You know fun. what was nice about it? The people that did feel like the, the bigger stars at the wedding who were looking down on did at that moment get to come down, back down to earth. Back down to earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um any uh, oh some people are saying we should do a happy endings podcast wouldn't that be a little sad yeah i mean i look at the uh i saw that like zach braff is doing one on um on scrubs with the cast of scrubs and and so i i would give us doing one a hard no what if we did one why one episode i guess this is it this is kind of it. Yeah, we're I mean, like, it. I I haven't watched it in a long. I mean, I guess like, I I don't know. I I just. Okay, what's your favorite episode of the show? Um, I remember jokes and bits. Oddly, like I don't remember episodes. Okay. Um, I remember. I remember having a lot of fun shooting the finale, the Mandana finale. I remember oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was really fun. fun. Yeah. Um, and I remember. Our Noche Tustin stuff. Oh, Noche Tustin was great. That yeah. was so fun. That's, that's such a funny, uh, yeah. Yeah. I liked um, the hipster stuff. I thought we were a little bit ahead of our time there not to like to your own i mean i'll say it i think you know that's season oh one. someone's reminding me of the racist parrot that was funny that was funny i really like the waiter that didn't write stuff down i like <laughs> that yeah, storyline right? yeah. i liked the joke there's a joke that i damon's then there's like little stuff like damon's dance in the uh dentist, dentist? office oh damon's God. dance joe in russo the dentist. that it was mwah. yeah uh, um, like that, I remember so much. I remember Damon like sneezing with his eyes open, which is like the funniest. <laughs> Working with Damon, it's I the, like oh, the highlight. Our episode when Eliza and I when I went through the glass, but it was really my stand-in. My yes, stunt she's terrific. She's who great. Went, went to the hospital for that. Fortunately, hey, that's their job. They know that going in. I feel like that I was like a badge never, of honor for them. I I never sugarcoat a stunt man. I'm always like pretty good. Sorry? What I'm never mean? like, I never overdo it with the stunt guys. They don't like that. You mean say great job? Never. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I liked the boat show episode with Megan Mullally just because that was so fun to work with her. Which one was Megan Mullally? Uh, is it you doing a dance? Oh, you did the, the mom and yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Fun. I like yeah. that. I like that one. We stopped, We shot that at the Staples Center, right? Or like the convention center? I remember being like... Yeah, it was something. A boat show. <laughs> a boat show. And oh, like oh, and I love, I love, I think maybe the hardest I've ever laughed, like doing something was, I think all of us was the season two first scene. With oh, like yeah. the Rue Goldberg and the knife, and then I'm throwing up, and I dump the water on you, and oh, like, yeah, and the lobster, I, and and Eliza's got covered in fish, and like that, that to me was <laughs> that like was really funny. That, and I remember shooting that, and I remember like specifically you, me, and Damon being like on the floor for most of that shooting, like when he raises up and like arches his back, and <laughs> I remember I'm still laughing for it. Really funny, he's the funniest human being. On the planet. Oh yeah, Damon is by far the funniest human being on the planet. Damn like, uh, I, I mean, he's every single thing he does or says is the best. Always. The, I miss working with him so much. Me too. I, we just did it, a movie together where we play husband and wife. Did I tell you uh, that? Yeah, with Basil on, right? Yeah, and getting to work with him, it, it was deal? like putting on an old shoe. Yeah. Or no, of course. Yeah, I, I mean, because he's 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 so like easy to work. Women would then say, when are you guys going to get me? Like, when's my coverage? When are you going to film me? And they'd say, we did. <laughs> yeah, but like that. And yet that... he's still at fucking 10. Yeah, but it, it, that's what's so amazing about him. Is like, he also like reads your space. He's like, I'm in my phone. I'm in my phone. It doesn't matter. Boom. I'm, you know, on. And then sometimes he's like, oh, let's, you know, like he's, he's one of those actors. I would say that he got better with that over time. Yeah. I mean, it was Damon and I's first real job on television. Me too. Oh. You, I don't, I don't 
don't think call so. that a job. <laughs> but more of an internship at SNL. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh no, 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 no. A little bit. Adam, do um, you really have an eggnog addiction? Oh, God, that shooting that was awful. That was one of my worst days. Yeah, that was a bad day. Yeah. Anytime I had to eat, I was miserable. Yeah, when Alicia and I did the mimosa, you know, and, and like she I remember it. that was like my eyeballs like filled up with sugar and I was like screaming and shaking. I was like Julia Roberts and <laughs> my noise. It really is. We just didn't know what we were doing yet. And like, I would <laughs> yeah. never do that now. I've, I haven't eaten in a scene in eight years. Oh my God. Please watch in The Sopranos. Edie Falco is a fucking pro. You know, they're always eating like they're She's just mushing around. Sausage mushing and peppers. She's like. Pushing, 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 pushing. Back pushin'. then, we're like, we have to eat. We're we're pros. It's our craft. Oh yeah, I'm like, is this funny? <laughs> I remember <laughs> Seth Morris. Eating. I remember Seth Morris coming on one day. Scotty. Uh, Scotty, and he was doing a bit with a Funyun, and he like mm -hmm. ate a Funyun, and he, and I remember being like this, like late in, in and I remember being like, your funeral, bro, <laughs> and yeah. they, and he got toasted with it because they wanted it in a single they wanted it in a medium they wanted it from damon's angle they wanted it from your angle and it was just i remember that end of the day and being like i think i have to go to the hospital <laughs> like there's funions in my blood and you know what and that's what people don't realize like acting is hard you know like we're what we do <laughs> i gotta say like you know whose viewpoints i'm so behind are ricky gervais is that oh my god what life? happened <laughs> You no, don't like no, no. it? He's great. He's great. I You don't like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. He takes down Hollywood. He's not afraid to take down Hollywood. Yeah, as my uncle would say, he takes him down a peg. <laughs> takes them all down a peg. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love I thought his Golden Globe thing was awesome. It just made me laugh. I'm like, it's, it was so laugh? funny. I think oh, I saw God. Parasite. I don't know. I sat I sat I loved it. But what are you watching in the pandy? This will be our last question because Vulture is saying, you know, we got to wrap up. Thank God. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. This is a great question they have. What's something you did pre-corona? That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's something um, that was like nice? nice? That's a nice someone? question. Uh, I... Um... God, what I the 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 pandemic has conditioned me so much to to honestly just think about myself that I honestly wanted to be like you know it was nice I used to have time to think. <laughs> yeah, my son <laughs> told me today I was like oh I was gonna tell you something and I forgot he goes he's four he's like mom you gotta just go think brain think and I was like I Wise. do I I Wise. can't think. Wise. Yeah. And I know that wasn't a great kid story, but. No, it's a great, I mean, it's nice that he broke it down for you like that. My kids are now, their brains have turned to mush. They're so dumb from the pandemic because their heads are in iPads all day and I don't have the energy, the energy to be like the courage, changing a diaper and then also be like, hey, learn. Like, I can't even. The amount of times know. I've walked in on my husband on a, like, a, a Zoom writer's meeting with like 12 faces holding the computer and then wiping my son's ass with the other hand. It's it's startling image, you know? Stoic. Stoic. I wish Stoic. I had Beautiful. A I Greatest wish generation. I had a Zoom. Oh my God. If I had a Zoom, it'd be amazing. I Zoom. We, sh we should just tell everyone that we are in a new writer's room and just... I should. No one, honestly, no one would believe that I would have been hired. I like know. if I told my, if I, if I said, if I went upstairs and was like, Danielle, the craziest thing happened. I just <laughs> got like, hired as a writer on a show. She'd be like, what show is hiring you as a writer? Danielle would be like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what show? She'd be like, I want to see, I want to talk to these fuckers. Black Monday on Showtime is coming back uh, June 28th. It's so funny. Um, so funny. So funny. And look, daddy -O is my short. It's on Amazon Prime right now for free through May 4th. Uh, it's about my dad who got a perm and myself after my mom died. Adam Pally stars in it with me. It's so good. It. June, June, Diane Raphael and Michael McKeon. Yeah. Go watch that on Amazon Prime. And um, I, small, small part, big movie, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. We're good. You want <laughs> That's amazing. You're so great. Did you see it? Yes, you're great. You're so funny in it. Uh, go get that on, on demand. Thank you. Uh, so go get funny that on, in on it. demand. 
Um, and what other plugs should we, should we like go down my, our IMDB list? I mean, there's a couple things I, I did that are underappreciated. I just would love to get some. Okay, go ahead. I guess. I mean, I see we're losing followers. Go on. <laughs> well, you signed off 25 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, I really don't have anything. Okay. I thought we were going to um, go back into the, the catalog. I got nothing in the chamber. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm fired at all. <sighs> this was so much fun. I know. Thank you guys great. for listening. I and I, I pray I'm, I'm able to save it the way they've asked me to.